It's funny, iPhone tutorials often don't talk about typing, yet it's the bedrock of pretty much everything you do on your iPhone. So in this video, we're just going to talk about typing, specifically some tips and tricks to help you type more easily, more accurately, and faster. Stick with me until the end of this video. While some of these features have been around for a while, I reckon there's at least a couple that most people won't know about. Okay, let's get into it. So the first tip is all about ensuring that the keyboard that you're using is comfortable for you. And you can do that by pressing and holding this emoji icon in the bottom left for a moment until it brings up this menu. Now, the keyboard in the center, that's the standard keyboard designed for use with both hands on the phone, but you might prefer to type one-handed. And if that's the case for you, choose the relevant left-hand only or right-hand only keyboard. Notice that it bunches the keys together, bringing them closer to whichever hand you've selected. The point of this, of course, is that now you've got much less travel between the keys and it genuinely does make it easier to type with one thumb using this keyboard method. Repeat the process to return back to normal. Sticking with that menu for a moment, let me show you a tip that's useful if you often find yourself typing in different languages. If we tap and hold here again and then choose keyboard settings, then tap on keyboards, we can add in a different keyboard from the various ones available here. Notice that the button has now changed from an emoji icon to a globe icon. Now, if I tap and hold here, I can quickly jump between the different language keyboards that I've got selected. Also notice that the emoji keyboard is still available, it's just here next to the numbers button now. Another tip that's useful for those who have to type in different languages, you can access accents and special characters by tapping and holding the relevant letter. So if I tap and hold on the letter E, for example, you can see all of the different options appear above it and I just move my finger left and right to select the one that I want. This is of course only gonna work on the characters that this is relevant to, but it's a great tip for anyone who often has to type in different languages. And this extends to special symbols also. So if I tap on the number button down here, that takes me through to the special characters part of the keyboard. And then if I press and hold on the question mark sign, for example, or the exclamation mark, or the zero number, which gives me degrees, or the pound sign, which gives me a bunch of other currency options. I'm including these two tips together because they are extremely fundamental tips that I reckon most people will know, but I wanted to take a few seconds to cover them just in case. When you're done typing a sentence, you don't need to tap the period or full stop button, just double tap the space bar. And I'm sure you know that this is your shift button and if you tap it once, you can then create a capitalized letter and then the keyboard will immediately go back to non-capitalized text. But if you double tap on the shift button, you enter caps lock mode and then anything you type from that point on will be all capitals and you simply tap the button once to come back out of caps lock. Oh, and I don't know who needs to hear this, but when you type in all caps lock, that's considered shouting in text speak. So unless you're trying to come across as shouty and angry when you're typing, please avoid all caps. Let's quickly talk some gestures that you can use to help you when you're typing. First up, if you make a mistake while typing, just give your iPhone a little shake. This acts as an undo feature and will undo whatever you just did. There is also a three finger gesture for this. You use three fingers and swipe left on the screen. That will also act as an undo. Swiping right with three fingers acts as a redo. Tapping once on the keyboard will position the cursor. Tapping twice will select the closest word to the cursor. Tapping three times will select the closest line. You've then got all of these options in this context menu above, including things like making text bold or italic. You've also got cut, copy, and paste here, but there are also three finger gestures for these as well. If you pinch with three fingers, that's copy. Then push out like this with three fingers to paste. Oh, and check this out. Let me grab my iPad. I've just used three finger pinch to copy from my iPhone, but I can then use three finger push to paste what I copied to my iPad. Clever, right? One of the biggest complaints I hear from people when typing on their iPhone is when they mess up and then find it difficult to get back to their mistake to fix it. They usually just prod and poke at the screen to try and move the cursor. The easiest way to fix this is to press and hold your spacebar, which then allows you to move your cursor around the screen like a trackpad on a laptop. You can move up and down, left and right, and you can really do this with pretty remarkable accuracy. 
There's a shortcut to help you type out web addresses and email addresses more quickly, although this only works in fields where the phone is expecting you to input an email address or a web address. So for example, the to field in an email or the address bar in your browser of choice. Just tap and hold the full stop button and you'll get a list of many of the most common suffixes and you can just move your thumb or finger across to select the one that you want. Your phone has a swipe keyboard built into it as an alternative to tapping on each letter. It takes a tiny bit of practice, but it's surprisingly accurate. You just start by gently pressing down on your starting letter and then without taking your thumb or finger off of the keyboard, you swipe to each follow up letter to make up your word like I'm doing on the screen now. Your iPhone is able to figure out the word you're trying to create by the movement between the different letters. When you take your finger off of the keyboard at the end of the word, the phone recognizes that you want to input a space, so you can then just get on with swiping for the next word. I think this would be really useful for people using the one-handed keyboard tip that I mentioned earlier on, perhaps on public transport, where you might only have one hand available to you, as it is easier than tapping out each letter once you get the hang of it. Let's be honest, the only thing better than learning a load of typing tricks to help you type more quickly and accurately is to use dictation so that you don't have to type at all. Dictation on iPhone, iPad and Mac all works surprisingly well, but you need to remember that you'll need to add a little bit on the end of each line to help input things like punctuation. We'll tap the dictation button and then I'll show you. This is an example of me using the dictation tool on my iPhone, full stop. It's an extremely effective way of inputting text, comma, and once you get the hang of it, comma, you can get your thoughts onto your phone with ease, full stop, new line. I really like using it, comma, and I think you will too, full stop. There's a feature in your iPhone called text replacement, whereby typing something on your keyboard will trigger your iPhone to replace it with a predefined text element. Let me show you. Tap and hold down here in the bottom left to get access to the keyboard settings, then choose text replacement. You can see I've already got one set up. If I type the letters OMW, like you see here, my device will automatically change it to on my way. Let's add a new one. First, choose the phrase that you'd like to have input for you. You can be pretty detailed here. In fact, let's put in a fake address to show you this. Unfortunately, you can't input return lines, and if you paste in from somewhere else, the return lines get removed, which is a shame. Hopefully, Apple could change this. You then need to decide on the shortcut. The trick here is to choose something that's easy to type that you wouldn't end up typing by mistake. So I might put my ad, because I'm not gonna accidentally type that. It's not a real word, but it's also easy to type and to remember. And if I jump back to the note, I can show you how this works. Impressive, right? You could do this for all manner of things that you have to type out frequently, from addresses to phone numbers to sign-offs on messages, and if you've got multiple Apple items, like maybe an iPad or a Mac, all signed into the same Apple account, this will then work across all of them. So there you go, 10 tips to help you master the iPhone keyboard. We're only a month or so away from WWDC, so I'm hoping Apple might add some new keyboard improvements in iOS 16. What about you? What improvements or changes do you want to see? Drop me a comment and let's talk about it. And as ever, if you found this video useful, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. See you on the next video.